A great way to change perspective is with a kaleidoscope. It changes the whole way you see things and it's really easy to make your own. So let me tell you what you need to get started. You wanna have a cardboard tube and you can use something like from the inside of a paper towel roll. And you also need three strips of acrylic mirror. These are about one and a half inch wide because they fit inside the tube. So you might do a little test to see if they fit before you get started. Now you also need some wide tape duct tape and some skinny tape, and that's for making your prism. And you'll want some things to decorate your kaleidoscope. So you can use some acrylic gems and jewels, and you can also use sticker letters, and those are a lot of fun to add. So let's get started. So what you'll do is take your cardboard tube and trace a circle, because this is going to be the eyepiece. You need to sort of reduce the amount of light that's coming inside the kaleidoscope. So trace your cardboard tube on tube piece of um, packaging. You can use recycled cardboard or cardstock. Okay, then you're going to cut it out with your scissors. And remember when you're cutting paper, you should always turn the paper and not your scissors. And that's how you're going to get a nice clean edge on your cardboard. So keep turning it around and cut your circle the whole way out. And this will be the perfect size to go over the end of my cardboard tube. And then we're going to punch a hole right in the center. So you can use a regular hole punch. I like to use the paper punch because um, it gives you a bigger hole to look through. So just make sure that this circle is centered inside your paper punch. Pretty close, whoops. And you can hold it in place with your thumb so that you can see that it's in the center there like that. Press it down and then you're ready with your eyepiece. Okay, so now you wanna put your eyepiece. This one's a little bit off center. See how they're different? So I'm gonna choose my one that I really did get right. I'm gonna put it on my duct tape. And see there's a little bit of an edge around the tape. I'm just going to trim this down so that there's a little bit less tape on the outside of the circle. And then on the inside of the circle, we're going to make some cuts so that it can um, fold through. So just poke your scissors in through the center and then make a few cuts around the edge so that we can fold that back like that. I'll just do across the middle and then fold it down to make your viewer. Peel your tape back along the back edge like that. And then if you want it to be really nice and smooth, you can just use your pencil to sort of smooth it out around the inside. Okay, now this part is going to fit on the outside of your cardboard tube. So place the circle over the tube on the end like that, and then bring your tape up around the tube. And this doesn't have to be perfectly neat because we're gonna cover it up with our decorations. So press this all down, and you have your eyepiece. Okay, now what you're going to do is get your prism ready. And the prism is what makes everything look so beautiful on the inside of your kaleidoscope. So you'll need your skinny tape and you're just going to take a piece that's a little bit wider than three strips of mirror and you're going to place your mirrors right across the tape like this. You're just putting them in a row. Just leave a tiny bit of space so that they can fold up into a triangle. And you want to make sure that you don't get too many fingerprints on your mirrors. That would mess up your view. And cut your tape and then I'm going to fold these and then tape this down. And you just want it to be together like that to create your prism. Then you can place it inside the tube. So slide it in there, and then you're ready to decorate the outside of the tube. You can see that the mirrors are a little bit shorter than the tube, and the reason is so that my plastic container will fit in the end. And I have a container here with a lid that fits perfectly inside the tube. You just wanna make sure that there's a little bit of space here. Okay, you might have to find a container that's the perfect size for your cardboard tube. Okay, so now to decorate the outside, before we put the container inside, I wanna decorate the outside so that we can cover up this edge here. So I'm going to start out with some wide duct tape and I'm using a solid color and I'm going to cover this. 
Now, you could also use um, paper and a glue stick, or you could use cardstock. The reason that I use duct tape is because I know I'm going to be using my kaleidoscope a whole lot, and I want it to be really durable. So this makes it a little bit um, more durable on the outside, because it's kind of plasticky. All right, so then I'm going to add this to the other side, covering up my cardboard. And you could do this any way you want. Of course, this comes in a lot of different colors and patterns, too, that you could use. So make your stripe. And if it's not totally even, you can just trim it, or you can cover it with your next piece. Right here, cut this down, fold it inside. You want to make sure that, see how this is a little bit longer? Cut this shorter so that it's not covering up your mirror inside, okay? So trim this down. All right, now, of course, I would go ahead and cover the rest of the tube with my tape. Let's get to adding the container. The container is going to be what makes it look so pretty and colorful inside. You can fill this with any kind of gems. You can use marbles, you can use beads, you can do all kinds of things. You can use flower petals, anything that you think will pre create some good color. And what's fun about this is you can just take the lid off, dump it out, and change it anytime you want. So you can get a lot of really fun colors. Make sure that you um, press this in, and you can also glue it inside if you want to. Now, sticker letters. You can write your name. You can write, I like the word look, just because that's what you're going to be doing with your kaleidoscope. So you can use your sticker letters to decorate on the outside. And you just press them into place, smooth them down with your fingers, and look at this one. I added some, I have my word, and then I added some acrylic gems. You wanna make sure that you use really thick craft glue anytime you're gluing on the acrylic gems. So smooth this all down, change out your jewels, and you are ready to have a great colorful perspective.